I'm going to be making a crock pot spaghetti and meatballs. Pre-spray your crock pot, put it on low, and then you're going to use any jarred spaghetti sauce that you want, or you can make your own. And pour half of that into the crock pot. This is a 24 ounce jar. Then you're going to put half a bag of meatballs in there. You can use Italian, but I had half a bag of home style meatballs left in the freezer. Then you're going to pour the rest of the spaghetti sauce all over the meatballs. Then you're going to add one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. One teaspoon of dried basil. One teaspoon of minced garlic. Then I'm going to add half a cup of diced onion. Then you're going to add half of a 16 ounce bag of spaghetti noodles. That'll be 8 ounces. I'm going to break them in like this and then pour it like this across. And then cross like this. Like crisscross across. Like, there you go. So I did that. Now you're going to add four cups of water. What I'm going to do is add some of it in to the sauce, the spaghetti sauce, so I can get all that sauce out of there. And pour the rest. Then add two to three tablespoons of cooking oil. You can use olive oil. I have canola oil. So I'm going to put two tablespoons. This is to, to keep the um, noodles from sticking. Push the noodles down like that, gently into the water. That way they'll cook. And you're going to cover this and cook this on low for two to three hours. Now you're just going to stir it up through halfway of the cooking time. You want some of the liquid to cook down some and cover it and cook it some some more it'll probably take another hour for this to get done and it's done I'm gonna plate it up and try it I let it soak in there some to soak up the um, sauce it seems a little bit more saucier than I like it if you make it, you could maybe add only three cups of water instead of four, like the recipe says. Depend on how much sauce you want in there. It seems too watered down to me. Also, if you want to make um, fresh meatballs, cook them ahead of time and drain off all the grease. I 
recommend using lean ground beef. I'm going to try it for you. I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese on it. It tastes pretty good. But I would just like to have it just all thicker. This is a way to make a spaghetti meal and not have to cook over the stove, especially in the summer months when it's hot outside and you don't feel like standing over the stove. And I made a uh, garlic toast with Italian bread that I have and I use my homemade garlic butter. I will link that recipe at the end of this video. How to make um, your own homemade garlic butter. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe. And click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.